This photo illustrates the passenger side of the trunk. Look on the upper side of the side panel and remove the plastic push pin by removing the inner pin, green arrow, pull it out, and then remove the hole pin, yellow arrow. Next, pull out the top of the trunk side panel in the direction of the blue arrows. Working at the battery, identify the negative battery post tightening fastener, as indicated by the green arrow. The positive battery terminal tightening fastener is the yellow arrow. Using a 13 mm wrench or socket with ratchet, which is what we are using here, loosen the clamping fastener. Use a flathead screwdriver to spread apart the battery terminal to loosen it. You can also use a pair of pliers to twist the battery connection terminal loose to break the corrosion. Loosen the 13 mm clamping fastener, green arrow, and remove the positive battery terminal. Working at the back of the battery, remove the 10 mm fastener and battery hold down bracket, green arrow. Grab the battery by its handles and lift it out of the trunk cavity. The battery is somewhat heavy, so be prepared. If you are inclined, you can replace your battery tray. A very small amount of battery acid can leak out of the battery vent during use and start to corrode the battery tray. Remove the two 10 mm fasteners that hold the tray down. Installation is the reverse of the removal procedures. Install the battery, battery hold down bracket, and tighten the mounting bolt. Fit the positive battery terminal first and tighten it down before installing the negative battery terminal. Only when the positive battery terminal is tightly installed, then install the negative battery terminal and tighten the terminal down. Start the engine to verify the battery terminals have a good connection. Install the trunk passenger side cover and insert the push pull pin to secure it. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.